Hi, uh, once again, welcome on my scientific blog, Discover Social Sciences. Uh, this update is more specifically addressed to my students at the Andrzej Fritz Modrzewski University in Krakow. Uh, this week, generally, I uh, want to prepare some tutorials, some educational material for my students and put it on my blog uh, because essentially we are at the turn of the summer semester. Most of my students this semester are supposed to graduate with projects. So each student or teams of students are supposed to prepare projects on the grounds of which they will be graded by the end of the semester. And in this update, I am more specifically or very specifically addressing the students who this semester uh, are following, together with me, uh, the course entitled International Management. Essentially, I decided to, to devote my update, my today's update, to this specific course, to this specific cur uh, curriculum because I had an email from a student who asked like, hello prof, I don't really know where to go from now, uh, what direction should I take in my project, so could you give me please some, uh, some explanation. And you know, uh, with me it is uh, that thing that I am a little bit like a squid. When you prod me with the information, I uh, produce a cloud of ink to hide beneath, uh, to hide behind it. Eh? So uh, as I received that email, as I tried to structure information in my head so as to answer something like coherent uh, to that student, uh, sort of uh, in the flow, I produced the whole update on my blog. So. Be, be, before I go into the subject matter of this update, once again a reminder. Uh, this video uh, comes together with a written update on my blog. So in the description box below the video you will find a link. The link is discoversocialsciences.com. You click on the link which will transport you to the website of my blog and on the blog you will find a written update which has the same title as the title under this video. So they come together. Okay, after this introduction I go into the subject matter. So I am focusing on the course of international management. In this course students are supposed to prepare projects which have a specific recurrent structure. So, my students, you are supposed to take a real business case, uh, preferably one of the companies we have already worked with. So, I strongly recommend you to take either the case of General Electric or the case of EPAM. One of those two cases which have been already mentioned uh, in the two e-lectures that you could find on the e-learning platform of our university. Uh, then you take preferably the latest annual report uh, of either of those two companies and in that report you go to the section entitled risk factors and uh, the logic that you follow from there is, is to take one risk factor and to imagine something like an organizational response to that risk. Uh, the basic logic of the thinking is that if we know that we are exposed to some risks, uh, we should try and shield ourselves somehow against those risks. If an organization is exposed to a given risk, the logical thing to do is to imagine some organizational solutions uh, to provide for those risks. Of course, there are risks that you can simply insure against, or there are risks that you, had, uh, that you can hedge against, but there are risks 
which we commonly call uh, uh, operational risks, where really the best way is to shape our organization so as to minimize those risks or maybe even possibly eliminate them completely. So that's the basic logic. Now, in that update or in the written version of that update on my blog, I am focusing uh, on the case of General Electric and on a specific risk uh, that uh, I have already signaled in the first lecture on the e-learning platform, namely on the risk that they, I mean that uh, General Electric labels portfolio strategy execution or risks connected to portfolio strategy execution. The thing is that uh, uh, General Electric essentially was created in the past as an attempt to put together all the small businesses and all the small inventions made by Thomas Edison. And uh, since then, they operate along the same lines. So General Electric uh, can be imagined as like a huge collective poker player who at any given moment has a hand of cards and each of the cards in their hand is a separate business or a separate business segment, a technology. And if you, uh, if you have ever played poker, uh, you know that in poker you have that moment when you can ask the croupier uh, to exchange one of the cards. I am sorry, oh, it jumped a little bit. So you can, in a game of poker, you can uh, ask the croupier uh, to exchange one of the cards in your hand against a card in the deck. And uh, uh, it is very similar in what we call business dispositions or portfolio dispositions in the case of General Electric. They have a range of businesses and uh, essentially they do business Gen uh, General Electric does business uh, by buying and selling entire businesses. That's the, the essential logic of such big corporate structures. Uh, in my first e-lecture on the e-learning platform this semester, I asked you to consider, for example, whether it is sensible to pursue the strategy that they announced last year to get rid of at least part of their healthcare segment of of all those technologies that they supply to the healthcare sector of course now uh, in the context of that of that covid-19 pandemic uh, you could ask who in the right mind would get rid of a healthcare business probably no one huh okay but uh, uh, that risk factor has been outlined by General Electric before anyone expected or before anyone realized that there is a pandemic coming our way. So, returning to that e e example, uh, in that update, uh, I am proposing you two alternative topics for your project connected precisely to that specific risk factor named in the annual report of General Electric. So connected to the risk factor named Portfolio Strategy Execution. Uh, topic number one consists in uh, asking yourself how you would organize a business uh, when or where you sell some assets, some productive assets from time to time. The question is, and there are two specific questions in connection to, the, to that, when you are selling some productive assets of yours, let's suppose you are selling a factory or you are selling some patents, you should be sure, you, sh you, sh you should be relatively certain that you have got from those technologies, that you have got from those assets, as much gain, as much profit as you, as you possibly can. So you should be relatively certain that you used those assets as efficiently as your organization allows you. 
So this is about designing a control system or a system of KPIs or key performance indicators. Just to be sure that when you are selling a business, you are essentially selling something that you can be sure and certain that you cannot have possibly any more gain from. And the second topic is about handling variety. Because in the description of that specific risk factor in the annual report of General Electric, you can read a sentence that we are pursuing, uh, we are pursuing a variety of dispositions and we are not sure that we pursue them all with equal efficiency. So now uh, in that topic number two, I ask you to imagine that you run something like an investment fund. So you invest in some businesses and from time to time you divest from those businesses. And I ask you to imagine an organization that could efficiently handle such uh, an internally varied heterogeneous portfolio of businesses. Okay, so these are like uh, vocal notes from my part for that update. I invite you to read the entire body text of the update on the site of my blog. So once again, you go to the description box below this video. In the description box, you find the link discoversocialsciences.com. You click on the link, which transports you to the website of my blog. And on the website of my blog, you will find an update with the same title as the title under this very video. Okay, that would be all for today. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, I wish that educational content will be of some use for you, my students, or maybe for someone else. Bye.